We will be contacted by mental health professionals in the following days. Okay, so let's give them a call. Phone number is 0800 266 086. Because I'm not a member, so as I'm not a member, they won't give me any advice. Well, doesn't that sound like a, a for non profit organisation that wants you to no doubt join as a member? And I wonder, let's see, if I go join consumer, does it want money? Oh, look at that F $15 a month, just the expert la lab tested premium stuff, digital pass, online magazine and membership. $19 online membership $15 so there you go before they even will answer any of my questions $15 so next step is we'll try the citizens advice bureau see if that works citizens advice bureau and it's telling me I'm trying to access a page that doesn't exist but they do give a number so the cab citizens advice bureau is 0800 367 222 Mark Keen. I'm calling to get some advice in regards to a bus lane ticket. Um, I was sent the ticket and had forgotten about it. I then got sent the reminder. I've uh, set up an AP automatically to AP uh, to Auckland Transport for five dollars a week to them. Um, I then contacted them via email and said that um, you know I have no wish to go through a court proceedings or pay my thirty dollar court costs on top of the one fifty and I've already set up an AP. Their response is saying, well, we're going to send you through to Bay Corp if it's not paid by the due date. I'm wondering where I stand there because I have no wish to contract with Bay Corp and uh, my issue is with AT. Bay Corp's a third-party interloper as far as I'm aware. So, um, yeah, given that I've already set up an AP, notified them of it, um, where do I stand if they go and then on-sell that debt over to Bay Corp? My contact number is... Oh, thank you so much and I appreciate a call back. Bye. So we'll see if that works. I'll let you know how I go. Hello. Oh yeah. Uh, no, I haven't as yet. You're the first person that's called back. Sorry? I haven't as yet. You're the first person that's called me back. Oh, okay. Right. So, um, have you tried to set up a payment scheme with them? No, I haven't contacted them at all. I just, um, you know, in your bank, it's they're normally preloaded, you know, accounts. Right. 
Right. So I just found right. AT and put in the infringement number and set up a payment and let them know. Yeah, and they're not prepared to accept that. Well, I, I asked them, because I wasn't sure, obviously because I'm starting to pay it, they're accepting liability, so there's no point for me to request a hearing. Um, no. And, and um, you know, I, I, as there was no agreement between us, um, what the, I've asked them, were, were they then going to be then filing at uh, the district court for, you know, for notice of court fine, which is your normal step after the reminder? Yeah, um, yeah. They've responded back saying, um, sorry, I was a little out of breath, I was just carting wood. Um, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> no, it's all right. Um, so, yeah, I, I, they responded back saying to me in an email just, uh, I think, a couple of days ago saying that, um, they'd go through the process if it's not paid by today, the 22nd of April. Um, mm. It would then get forwarded on to Baycorp and then Baycorp would contact me. They said that it, it doesn't affect my credit rating um, and that Baycorp may have collection fees on top. And, I mean, yeah, well, that's the thing. Can you not afford to pay it? Well, I mean, the, the last bus lane ticket that I actually challenged, mm. I, I went through the entire court process um, I, I even had the Justice of the Peace saying to me, hey, look, you know, yes, um, the, who, who the driver was is definitely an element of the, of the, of, of the offence. Um, mm. We had AT's traffic warden on the stand. She couldn't identify myself as the driver. I said the fact that I, you know, pleaded not guilty would obviously state that I'm not the driver. But um, they've said no, because you didn't use section 133, subsection 4, you know, the declaration transferring liability, then it's still on me as the presumed driver, even though it was the, the presumed, you know, the registered owner being the presumed defender. And I said, yeah, but they, they haven't proven who the driver was. So they just jumped back to that presumption. So, you know, that took about 18 months. And then I, I paid that one off. I just finished last week, ironically. Um, paid that one off at five dollars a week through the you know departments of collections putting an attachment order on my benefit. So mm. you know that fact that that had finished is why I just said okay well and, and then the reminder name num notice came through and reminded me about it ironically so I just set up the AP and let them know. Yeah. So, so my my but point is can they forward the debt because they sent me a, a note in, in that letter of their response saying that that would be forwarded to Baycorp and. Um, they said uh, that, it, that it would go through their procedures, and I looked up Baycorp's time frame, and it's like 87 days through all of their steps, and then it gets passed back to them for court enforcement. And I've pointed out by that time it would be almost finished paying off, and the latest letter said that I've already paid 15 bucks off the initial charge anyway. So. And how much was it? $30? No, $150 bus lane, moving, you oh, know, special dang. lane vehicle. You know, yeah, yeah. The, did you tell them that you're on a benefit? Yeah. I mean, they, they, they know all this because I've gone through court with them on the last proceedings. I, I love going through court, the court process. I've studied law for like 11 years. And my whole mm. point being is how can they forward a debt onto a debt collector's when they're actively having it paid off to them? Yeah, well, I do, I do understand that. But um, I'm just thinking... Um, yeah, if, when, if, if they do send it to Baycorp, mm. and, and Baycorp um, uh, contacts you, which they will do, and sure. they will put fees on it. Yeah, um, which is just, the whole point of why I did this to it, because I didn't want to pay $30 court fees, which is what was yeah, you know, ended up on the last yeah. one. So, <laughs> my so whole point was, why, yeah. why don't you, when Baycorp calls you, you just say, look, this debt is under dispute. Sure. Yep, I, and, I, can do, um, I can do that. But to me, they're going to want to, you know, they're going to need to, for the security checks, check that I'm the right person they're talking to. And there's going to be a problem there because <laughs> studying law, I can be quite a smart ass when, when it comes to that sort of thing. And I've just asked them what type of person are they looking for, you know? <laughs> there's five, yeah. five different legal definitions. I'm just a man. What kind of person mm. are they? Because they're not going to get anywhere with me. So no, yeah, it's just going no. to bounce back. And so my my point was, I asked them, are they going to waste the judicial and the court processes and all of their resources putting it through the court, given that I've now set up an AP and, I, and have set it to stop in September or whenever you know it finishes. Um, mm. 
and, and waste the court's time. And it, their response was basically, no, we're going to waste bad court's time. <laughs> because no. I, I'm not going to get enter into any contract with Bay Corp. So no. Her, 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 they're not going to be able to slap well, what you need, on. <laughs> what you need to do is just say, look, I'm paying it off. Yeah, I'm already paying it off with Auckland yeah. Transport. And if they say, well, because, see, my thoughts were because it's Auckland Transport, they might not have the ability to allow people to pay things off. But yeah, no, I, 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 even, no. even on the, in, well, it's ironic, they now use like after pay and, and all of those things as well. They allow all of that sort of thing. Um, yeah. <laughs> I was shocked by that, and I'm sort of, well, after pay's eight weeks, it, that you, it's just another way of getting the money out of you quicker, but I'm paying what I can afford, not what they're telling me I'm supposed to give them. And, you yeah. know, because I went through this argument one other time with the Department of Collections, and they says, no, we, we would never accept $5 a week, and then ironically, <laughs> going through the bus lane process at court last time, <laughs> it ended up being $5 um. a week. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Because <laughs> the other yeah. one was going, no, nah, it's got to be you know within eight weeks of payments, and I'm going, well, if I'm paying off a debt, as far as I'm aware, I've got up to five years to pay it off. You know, you're a government entity, you're not going anywhere. It's not like you're in, <laughs> you're shutting down or anything. You don't have a lifespan, so mm. I'm just going to pay you what I can afford. I'm lucky I didn't just make it fifty cents, but you know, I just I want to clear the debt. So yeah. to me, I've acted yeah. in good faith. I've set up an AP. I've notified them of, of it happening. They say on the on the infringement notice, um, you can pay us off in four equal instalments. You know, they give that option, but that's mm. not something I'm happy to pay off. Not thirty seven fifty is a large chunk of my my um, benefit. benefit. Yeah. Mm. Well, they need to understand that really, mm. but. Um We'll but see how you get on. Do, do, I um, to, do I have to respond to Baycorp and answer their questions? Well, I, I can't answer that. But I'll, look, I'll give you a lawyer's number, oh, and yes. he will he will give you an opinion. But if he does act for you, he'll charge you. But he he does give ten minutes um, free. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I've self-represented myself many times. You know. Yeah. <laughs> so I've gone up have, against Meredith Connell a few times, put it that way. <laughs> gosh, yeah. And I've won a few. Don't, don't get me wrong, I haven't lost all more. <laughs> no. Some, some of them and, you win just because they stuff up into the disclosure, you know. You did Section 147 no. dismissal and wahoo. <laughs> That's right, mm. yeah. Um, well, has, have you got a pen? Uh, yep. Go for it, my dear. Um, his number's. Oh, oh, it's an O two one number. That's fine. Okay, O two one six double one seven four one. Seven four one. And, and his name is Aaron Foley. Aaron Foley. Yeah, if he does not, to just leave a message for him to call you. I will do. Thank you so much for your help. I yeah. appreciate that. A and good luck. But um, I would just say, I, if they call, contact you, I'd just say to them, look, I'm paying this debt off. I'm, mm. I'm a beneficiary. I'm paying this debt off. And it's under dispute, so don't contact me again. Yeah. 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 Yep. yeah. Awesome. Okay. I'll do yeah. That. Okay. Thank you All so right. Much good luck. Thanks. Bye bye. Bye now. Bye. We will be contacted by mental health professionals in the following days. I look forward to catching up with you next time. All the best.